Hello guys, welcome to another session and hope you are doing well with the previous lessons. Today we're going to learn something very simple and very understandable. You know, command prompt application involves directories, that's folders within the command prompt application. How to navigate through these folders, how to access files within the command prompt application, how to switch from one folder to another and as for well, how to do so many other things with this command prompt application. So without wasting my time, what's folder? A folder is a set which contains files. Let's put it like a basket within your room of which you put in stuff. We have, so we can classify a folder as something which contains files within the computer applications. A folder can contain a subfolder, uh, files such as music files. We have PDF files, so many other files and also applications as well. Basically, a folder is a way of organizing and storing computer files, test files, or other things within this folder. You know, folders can be created or within the command prompt application or usually during our Windows operating system era. That's using a Windows application, we create a main folder and we create within the folder subfolders. We have folder within a folder, so we call that one subfolders. You know, we have a main folder on our desktop and we have subfolders of which we store music and other stuff within our Windows application. This is the same concept. Within command prompt, we have the same folders and how we navigate through these folders. We have folders which include three subfolders. That's for the sake of this lesson, we have a folder that's the main folder which includes three sub folders we have the subfolder one subfolder two and subfolder three and within this subfolder one we have music files within the subfolder two we have pdf files and the subfolder three we have test files hello so coming back to our desktop that's on the windows 10 operating system we have a main folder on our desktop so i entreat you to create a main folder that's a new folder on your desktop you can right click any space on the desktop and you navigate to a new folder area to create a new folder here i have a new folder within this new folder i have three subfolders as already shown within the subfolder one we have the music files and within the subfolder 2, we have PDF files. And within our subfolder 3, we have the test files. So quickly, I launch my command prompt application. And within the command prompt interface, we have so many commands. So now I'm going to do it. Commands. You type in the statement DIR, which stands for directories within the command prompt interface. So as you type for DIR, you see the main folders that is the folder within which our um, command prompt application has switched so now we are in the users that is the c drive the user folder and also within the users we have account ebenezer folder that is the account ebenezer user account folder that's what we've switched so for the sake of this lesson we need to go to our desktop in order to access our listing navigating through command prompt is a very nice topic to talk about you use cd dot dot there's a double dot before this after the cd and you hit enter and you go backward once so in order to move from the account ebenezer folder that's the directory on a command prompt to the user's account you type in cd dot dot in order to move back in order to find the element within the folder that's the user folder that you switched or any other folder that you switched you type directory that's dir you type dir the full meaning of the word dir is directory so you hit your enter key and you see now we have all the users on a kernel computer that's my computer we have the administrator we have administrator.acon we have account and other so many other users within my system so in order to go to my desktop i need to go back to my account ebenezer um user 
so I switch back so in order to move to a subfolder you type your CD again and now you type in the name of the folder that has the subfolder within the folder you want to go so within this place I type a kernel Ebenezer that is the subfolder I want to switch so after typing this I hit my enter key on the keyboard and I've switched back to the Akono Ebenezer folder. So now the folder of which I've opened is the Akono Ebenezer folder. That's the user account Akono Ebenezer. Now we want to see the files within this user account. We have desktop, that's what we're looking for because that's where I've located the folder we will be working on. So in order to go to the desktop, as we already know, we type our CD command again and we type in desktop so as we finish typing we hit enter and we switched to our desktop now let's see the files on our desktop of our computer so I just type in the dir just to know number of files that is the file name and files within the desktop directory Wow, we've opened it. We have C++ too. We have the dev stick. But the folder we've been looking for is the main folder. So the main folder is what we will be working on today. So in order to open the main folder, how do we go about that? We type in the command cd and we type the command main folder. And we hit enter. Hitting enter switches us into the main folder directory. So now, if we were to suppose we were on a Windows platform, that means we've opened the main folder on our computer. But you will be asking yourself, where are the files within this main folder? So, in order to access these files, you type in the command dir, simply means directories, and you hit enter. And you know the subdirectories of the files that is the folder being pop up. Now we have the subfolder one, we have the subfolder underscore two, and the subfolder underscore three within our directory. So now we want to open the file that is the subfolder one in order to access the files within the subfolder one of our command prompt application. So our folder on the desktop computer, we have accessed the folder within the command prompt console. And now we are opening that folder. So I said, as you've been opening a folder, you type in the CD, the CD command, and you bring a space and you type in the folder name. So the folder name is subfolder underscore one. That's the first folder. So let's switch to that folder. So as I open, you see it updates the command prompt path. Now we have the C user, we have a corner Ebenezer, the desktop, we have main folder, we have subfolder within the main folder. And now within that subfolder, let's check what's within that folder. And checking this, I said you type in the command DIR, that stands for directories and you hit enter and wow we successfully opened that aspect of the command prompt application you know within that folder we stored the videos that's a file format of mp4 which includes the basic formatting uh, ribbon tabs tricks and other stuff so within this folder as we check is the same thing as going to your windows application and accessing the main folder opening the subfolder one and you see the same things within this place is just within our command prompt console by now I think you are asking yourself then how can I open these files within the command prompt console yes we can open those those files within our command prompt console by just typing the start so we type within our command prompt start and we bring to 
um, inverted commas that's double quotes and we type the root of the file putting them into brackets so the double quote we type double quote again and type the rest of the command prompt part so first we copy the part of the command prompt that is the main location of the file that we want to open or access so copy that one and we paste it them in here and we also if we want to open the file we specify the file so now we want to open the ribbon and tab tricks on our within our subfolder one that is in our main folder so i select that one to and add it up you know command prompt separates things up with so i just edit the statement in order to make it suitable for the command prompt but you know i join two statements that's the path and the location of the file that's the file name so you type in the the file location and you start by typing the command start and two inverted commas that is the double quote and you hit enter wow we successfully launch our this thing within the command prompt application but by now you've been asking yourself ah so can i also access or open an executable file that is a setup within my command prompt console that is absolutely yes you can open any other file any file that you can access on a windows platform you can also access it within the command prompt console so by now we will be taking a few examples so let's switch to our subdirectory too in order to open some other files so as i've already said if you want to go back you just type in your cd double dot and you hit your enter key and you goes back to the main folder so now we are within our main folder let's check things out the directory we have subfolder too so we are going to subfolder too so we type cd subfolder underscore two so now we've switched successfully to the second folder that is the subfolder two let's check things that are within the sub the subfolder two includes our pdf file format so let's open up the pdf files within our command prompt console by typing the start command again bringing one double quotes so we open the double quotes and we close it again we open another double quotes so as we open the second one we type in the location that's the path of the file we want to access so if we want to access any file within the command prompt application as we've already learned it involves directories that's the path the location of the files within the command prompt console so now i've typed in the location of the file i close my double quote again so as i close my double quote i hit my enter key and wow open that's we've successfully launched our pdf files within the command prompt application let's also give it another try now we're going to the subfolder 3 which involves the test files so let's switch back that cd dot dot and we have within our main folder we have the subfolder 3 so i switch to subfolder 3 underscore 3 and i hit enter successfully open i type in the directory to see the file name so we have pad dot test so we will access those files so we just type in our start command double quotes the quotes again and we choose the file location that's we type in the file location by the shortest way is just highlight it as we've already said we've edited our command prompt application for us to be able to use the mouse cursor within our command prompt so we highlight it and don't forget that we've also enabled 
our control key shortcuts within our command prompt application so therefore i can use my control c to copy test and control v to paste test within my command prompt application so after copying the file directory that's the part of the file i again copy the file name so as i copy the file name i just write the path row so i bring the slash and i also paste the path name for it to be a complete directory therefore i end up closing my double quotes and i strike my enter key wow we've also opened that one too so that's what we mean but now let's try the last one we will be opening a, a setup that is an application setup an executable file format with the command prompt console on my system i have a dev c plus plus application on my desktop so i switch back to my desktop so i move back to my desktop for this exercise to take place so now i'm within my desktop so let's check the files within my desktop okay i have my dev c plus plus over there so i type my start again my double code first second and another code and now i copy the path that's the directory of my current directory and also paste it within my command line and i bring my slash i also type in the file name that is the dev c plus plus application so as i input i close my double quotes and i hit enter and you see i've successfully opened my dev c plus plus setup within the command prompt application hope this lesson helped a lot and if it did don't forget to subscribe to these videos I'm doing all this for you. So in the next lesson, we'll be talking about something really nice. And you are welcome to our Conroe Online Education.